So welcome back to Hub City Homestead. I'm Ruth and just a little video today to just tell you where we are on the homestead and uh, what some of our plans are here in the new, near future and to just um, give you an idea of, of what we're doing here. So as you know we just got back from family vacation to visit uh, my family up in Oregon. We had a really great time. If I look a little tired, it's because I am. We're still recovering. And uh, and we also had a family get together today. My son was baptized. And, uh, and, you know, going to church hasn't been something that we've been able to do recently because of COVID. But we're just starting to get back into the swing of things. And it's great. And so we had a beautiful baptism day. The weather was perfect. We had a lot of family down, had a really nice visit, and it was really good. And uh, it, it felt really good, and that's what I love about church. A lot of people would say, oh, well, that's just fake, but I won't get into that. I love the feeling of church, and it doesn't matter what other people think. I love it. Um... So some of the other things we're going to do, we're back from our vacation, so i got to get into the garden and i got to check things over. We lost a few plants. Uh, we've got other plants that are growing really well. Um, and, and then we are going to start looking at doing second planting plants because we're getting to that time of the summer where we can start, uh, start doing some second planting uh, that go into the fall. And so this is something I've never done, and so I'm kind of excited to try and start that. Um, I want to do a little container garden that has spinach and lettuce and kale in it and try and do a, a mini salad garden. It's something that I want to do with our local um, youth group, church youth group. And uh, because my girls are, they're, they're, they're supposed to help plan some of the activities that the youth group does. And so this is something we thought about doing. And since this is what we're doing, we're planting things and we want to help other people learn how to plant things, we're going to do that. So I'll do a video on that too, getting ready to, to teach them that. Um, we, uh, we will have some eggs coming here in the next few days. We're going to put, I've got 12 eggs coming, some black copper morans, some olive eggers, and some well summers. And we have one broody hen, so I'm going to put a few of those eggs under her and let her hatch them. And then we, uh, the rest I'm going to put into incubator. And so I'm looking forward to that. I don't know. I, I'm a little bit addicted to hatching eggs, though. I had to calm down a little bit because I was hatching them so quickly. <laughs> and so now we're ending up with coop issues. Where do we put everybody? So, uh, and speaking of that, we have to get some of our chickens shifted around. We have our 11 chicks that are in what we call our chicky coop, and they're getting big enough that we can start introducing them into the flock, putting them into the, the coops at night. Um, they We have to keep an eye on it because they will get picked on a little bit, but as long as we provide a place that they can run and hide, we should be okay. And then I want to move one set of mamas and chicks into the chicky coop and probably leave the other one in the, the coop that they're in and uh, let them get separated a little bit and finish raising their chicks for the next few weeks and then we'll just put all the chicks together in the chicky coop and we'll have the other coop available for our broody hen and the other chicks that are coming so lots of shifting around with the chickens uh we we've come to the conclusion that we really don't want to harvest these extra roosters we have and as <laughs> at least one of them we don't want to harvest, but I figure if we aren't going to harvest one, why harvest the rest of them? So, uh, we're going to either, we're either going to try and rehome them ourselves. The problem is, is we are pretty rural, so it's hard to, to get to people to, to meet them or to have them come down here to pick up the roosters. But there's a couple of places here, uh, not too far from us where we can actually take them and they will work on rehoming, uh, the roosters. And I'm thinking we can even check it and see what they've got there in the way of hens and bring home a couple hens so that we can also help in, in uh, homing, rehoming hens that people have had to give up because they can't afford it anymore, they didn't know what they were getting into, or they just didn't want them anymore. So, so that's probably what we'll do because 
most of our roosters, they're really sweet, and we haven't had any any of them attack anything, because most of the breeds that we have are more docile breeds, and so it's hard, because some of them we just love to keep, but I don't have the space for them, and so so we're going to see if we can't rehome them. Um, so, yeah, more shifting, and then that way we can get my regular flock into the chicken moat garden and continue working on that project. So we'll we'll continue working on that. I'm I'm excited for the next phase. The next phase, well, we're not quite done with the coop phase. I gotta finish the coop as far as getting all the trim on and the roofing, and then uh, painting it and that kind of thing. That kind of stuff can wait. But then I want to get the second uh, fence around on the inside so that I can start actually gardening in my chicken milk garden and so that. Bit, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, a little bit at a time. You do what you can afford to do, and you do what you have time for, and you do things according to seasons, and so hopefully those all come together, but we'll get there. It's going to be really fun. I'm My goal is to have it ready completely by the beginning of next spring when I want to start doing uh, starting seeds and and getting things planted into the garden so that we have this big, lush, beautiful garden going on through the summer. And uh, so I hope you will in, uh, join us for that adventure because I know it's it's a long process and I thank you for your patience, but it'll be worth it when it's done and I really would, would like to show it to you. So I hope you'll keep watching. And um, like and subscribe if you like our videos and, and uh, if you... If you like what we do, please share with others around you, and and we hope that you'll come back again and again. Sorry this has been kind of just me talking to the camera, but I do appreciate uh, you watching and participating and being part of our little homestead family. It, it's a lot of fun um, to do this. And if you want to offer any support, we, we love suggestions and comments. Um, we're going to be adding some things to the garden, and... And so I would love to have suggestions. If you see something that maybe we're not doing quite right, we need to help because we are just starting out. A lot of things we've learned, a lot of things we've learned by mistake. And that's one of the best ways to learn because then you hopefully you learn from it and you don't do it again. And so uh, your advice is appreciated. If you have questions about the things that we're doing or why we're doing something in particular, please ask. We're totally willing to answer those questions. And if you'd like to offer any other support, we do have um, t-shirts through teespring.com, and the, the link is below in the description. And uh, we're going to be getting a light Sussex t-shirt done by my daughter out here pretty soon uh, to go along with her coaching t-shirt. And uh, they're, they're really cute, really fun, and so we hope, hope that you'll, you'll participate in our homestead and be part of our homestead family by, by helping... Uh, by buying a t-shirt <laughs> if you want so the proceeds for the for the floof t-shirt and any that my daughter do half of that goes to her to uh, earn money to to get better art supplies and things like that so it does it doesn't only just help our homestead but it also helps her in um, things that she wants to do in the future career wise and and uh, that kind of thing so we appreciate that help as well I'm waffling on, as Nick Zametti would say it. He's got a great channel, not a homesteading channel, but he's awesome. So go see Nick Zametti. Why not? Um, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>